Hello and welcome to today's devotion. I'm so glad you're here taking a moment out of your day to focus on what truly matters, your relationship with God. Whether you're listening on your commute during a quiet break or as part of your morning or evening routine, I believe that God has something special to say to you today about a topic that is vital to our walk with Him, the power of prayer. Prayer is more than just words we speak into the air, it's a powerful connection with the Creator of the universe. It's an invitation to enter into His presence, to share our hearts, and to listen to His voice. When we pray, we are not just fulfilling a religious duty, we are engaging in a deep, personal conversation with God, a conversation that has the power to transform our lives. Think about it for a moment, the God who spoke the world into existence is inviting you to talk with Him, to bring your concerns, your fears, your joys, and your hopes to Him. He's not distant or disinterested, He's close, attentive, then ready to respond. In today's devotion, we'll explore what the Bible says about the power of prayer. We'll look at how prayer can bring peace to our troubled hearts, how it can move mountains in our lives, and how it can align our will with God's perfect plan. My prayer for you today is that as we dive into God's Word, you'll be encouraged, strengthened, and inspired to deepen your own prayer life, trusting that God hears you and is at work in ways you may not even see yet. So, let's take this time to quiet our hearts, to tune out the distractions of the day, and to open ourselves to what God wants to say to us about the incredible power of prayer. Prayer is one of the most profound and essential aspects of our faith. It's not just a ritual or a religious obligation, it's a direct line of communication with the Creator of the universe. Think about that for a moment, the God who formed the stars, who knows every detail of your life, invites you into a personal conversation with Him. Through prayer, we have the incredible privilege of speaking to God, bringing our worries, hopes, fears, and praises before Him, knowing that He hears us and responds. Prayer is more than just asking for what we need or want, it's an intimate exchange with the One who loves us more deeply than we can comprehend. It's an opportunity to pour out our hearts to God, to share our deepest thoughts and feelings, and to experience His presence in a powerful way. When we pray, we are not just talking to the air or going through a spiritual exercise, we are engaging in a real, living relationship with God. This connection is both a gift and a responsibility. God doesn't just tolerate our prayers, He delights in them. He's not too busy or too distant to care about what's on our hearts. In fact, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. This means that God not only listens to our prayers, but He also cares deeply about the things that concern us. Prayer is also a powerful tool that God has given us to effect change in our lives and the lives of others. When we pray, we are not just passively hoping for things to improve, we are actively participating in God's work in the world. James 5 verse 16 reminds us, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This verse emphasizes that our prayers have the power to bring about real, tangible change. But prayer is more than just asking for things, it's also about aligning our hearts with God's will. As we spend time in prayer, we begin to see things from God's perspective. Our desires are shaped by His desires, and our will becomes more aligned with His. This is why Jesus taught us to pray, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, Matthew 6 verse 10. Through prayer, we are not just seeking our own way, we are seeking God's perfect plan for our lives and the world around us. So, whether you're facing a difficult situation, seeking guidance, or simply wanting to grow closer to God, prayer is the key. It's the means by which we connect with our Heavenly Father, receive His strength, and align our lives with His purposes. As you continue to cultivate your prayer life, remember that it's not about saying the right words or following a formula, it's about opening your heart to God, trusting Him, and allowing Him to work in and through you. Let's begin with a powerful verse from the book of James. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. James 5 verse 16b NIV 
This verse serves as a potent reminder that prayer is not just a passive activity, it's a powerful, defective force. When you pray, you are not merely sending words into the void or engaging in a ritual out of habit. Instead, you are tapping into a divine connection with God, engaging in a spiritual act that has the ability to bring about real change in your life, in the lives of others, and in the world around you. James 5 verse 16 b emphasizes the profound impact that prayer can have, especially when it comes from a heart that is aligned with God. The term righteous here refers to someone who is in right standing with God, not because of their own perfection, but because of their faith in Christ. When you, as a believer, approach God in prayer, you do so clothed in the righteousness of Christ, and your prayers carry incredible weight and authority. This verse assures us that prayer is powerful, meaning it has the inherent ability to accomplish things that are beyond human capability. It's like a spiritual tool that God has placed in our hands, enabling us to influence situations, circumstances, and even the hearts of people. Whether you're praying for healing, guidance, provision, or breakthrough, your prayers have the potential to release God's power into those situations. But it's not just about the power, it's also about the effectiveness of prayer. When something is effective, it means it produces the desired result. God's word is telling us that when you pray according to his will, your prayers are not in vain. They achieve what they are meant to achieve. They bring about God's intended outcomes, whether that's peace in a storm, healing in sickness, or wisdom in confusion. Consider the impact of this truth. Every time you pray, you are engaging in an activity that has the power to change the course of events. You are partnering with God in His plans and purposes, aligning your will with His, and allowing His power to work through you. The results may not always be immediate or visible, but rest assured that your prayers are effective, they are working behind the scenes, in the spiritual realm, to bring about God's perfect will. This means that your prayers are never wasted. Even when you don't see immediate results, trust that God is at work. Sometimes the answers come in ways we don't expect or in God's perfect timing rather than our own. But the promise remains, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So, when you feel overwhelmed, remember the power of prayer. When situations seem impossible, remember the effectiveness of prayer. When you're tempted to give up, hold on to this truth, your prayers matter. They have the power to move mountains, to change hearts, and to bring about God's will on earth. Keep praying, keep believing, and watch as God works through your prayers in ways that are beyond what you could ever ask or imagine. The Bible is filled with examples of how prayer changes things. One of the most striking examples is the story of Elijah, a prophet who lived during a time of great spiritual and moral decline in Israel. Despite the challenges he faced, Elijah was a man who deeply trusted in God's power and faithfulness. In James 5 verses 17 to 18, we read, Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. This passage highlights an incredible truth, Elijah's prayers had the power to influence the natural world, literally altering the course of the weather. For three and a half years, the skies remained closed because of his earnest prayers. And when he prayed again, the heavens opened and rain came down, bringing life back to the land. These were not random or wishful prayers, they were prayers aligned with God's will, carried out in deep faith and trust. Now, you might be thinking, but I'm not Elijah. I'm just an ordinary person with my own struggles and doubts. That's a very human response, and it's something we all feel at times. But here's the key, Elijah was, as the Bible says, a man with a nature like ours. He wasn't some superhuman figure, he was just like you and me. He had fears, doubts, and weaknesses. Yet, his prayers were powerful and effective, not because of who he was, but because of the God he prayed to. The power of prayer doesn't come from us, it comes from God. When we pray, we are not relying on our own strength, wisdom, or righteousness. 
Instead, we are tapping into the limitless power of the creator of the universe, the same God who created the heavens and the earth, who parted the Red Sea, who brought down the walls of Jericho, and who raised Jesus from the dead. This is the God who listens to your prayers today. Think about that for a moment. The same God who responded to Elijah's prayers is the same God who is ready to respond to yours. When you pray, you are not just speaking into the air, you are engaging in a powerful act of faith by direct communication with the Almighty. Whether you're praying for a situation in your own life, interceding for someone else, or seeking God's will for a particular circumstance, your prayers have the potential to bring about real change because they are directed to a God who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, Ephesians 3 verse 20. So, don't underestimate the power of your prayers. You may feel ordinary, but the God who answers prayer is anything but ordinary. He is extraordinary, and he delights in hearing from his children. The same power that worked through Elijah is available to you. When you pray in faith, trusting in God's goodness and sovereignty, you can be confident that your prayers are heard and that they can have a profound impact. No matter what you're facing today, take it to God in prayer. He is listening, and he is more than able to answer in ways that are beyond your understanding. Just as he moved in the days of Elijah, he can move in your life today. Trust in his power and let your prayers be a reflection of that trust. Remember, the power of prayer doesn't come from your own strength, but from the God who is powerful enough to change everything. But prayer isn't just about asking God for things, it's about building a deep, personal relationship with him. While it's true that God invites us to bring our requests before him, Prayer is so much more than just a list of petitions. It's an intimate conversation with our Heavenly Father, a chance to open our hearts, be honest about our struggles, and invite God into every corner of our lives. When you pray, you're not just seeking answers, you're seeking God Himself. You're drawing closer to Him, allowing Him to shape your heart, your mind, and your character. Think of prayer as a way to deepen your connection with God. Just as in any relationship, communication is key. When you spend time talking to God, sharing your joys, your concerns, your fears, and your dreams, you are strengthening your bond with Him. You are inviting Him into your daily life, allowing His presence to guide you, comfort you, and transform you from the inside out. Through prayer, you align your heart with God's heart, and in doing so, you begin to see the world and your circumstances through His eyes. Consider what Jesus said in the book of Matthew. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Matthew 7 verse 7 NIV This verse is a powerful invitation from Jesus himself, encouraging us to be persistent in prayer. Notice the three actions he calls us to ask, seek, and knock. Each one implies a different level of engagement, a different depth of relationship. When Jesus says the ask, he's telling us that it's okay to come to God with our needs, our desires, and our concerns. God is not distant or disinterested, he cares deeply about every aspect of our lives, and he wants us to bring our requests to him. But asking is just the beginning. Next, Jesus says seek. This is more than just asking for something, it's about actively pursuing a deeper understanding of God's will and His presence in your life. Seeking involves looking beyond the immediate need or desire and searching for God's purpose and plan. It's about drawing closer to Him, seeking His face, His wisdom, and His guidance. When you seek God through prayer, you're opening yourself up to discover more of who He is and how He is at work in your life. Finally, Jesus says a knock. Knocking implies perseverance, a determination to keep pursuing God even when the answer isn't immediately clear or when the door seems closed. Sometimes, the answer to your prayers may not come right away. Sometimes, it might not come in the way you expect. But Jesus assures us that when we persist in prayer, we will find what we are seeking. God will open doors that seem impossible to open, and He will provide in ways that exceed our expectations. This is where faith comes into play. 
Prayer is an act of faith, trusting that God hears us, loves us, then knows what is best for us. It's about believing that even if the answer is delayed, or if it's different from what we envisioned, God is still in control, and His plans for us are good. Persistence in prayer shows that you trust God's timing and His wisdom, even when you don't fully understand what He's doing. Moreover, as you persist in prayer, something remarkable happens, you begin to change. Your heart becomes more attuned to God's heart, or desires start to align with His desires, and your perspective shifts. You start to see that prayer is not just about changing your circumstances, it's about changing you. It's about allowing God to mold and shape you into the person He created you to be. So, when you pray, don't just focus on the requests you're bringing to God. Focus on the relationship you're building with Him. Let prayer be a time of deepening your connection with God, of seeking His presence and His will for your life. Trust that as you ask, seek and knock, God will meet you where you are and He will lead you into a deeper, richer and more fulfilling relationship with Him. Through prayer, you'll find not just the answers you're looking for, but you'll find God Himself, your source of peace, strength and joy. But here's the key, when you pray, it's essential to align your heart with God's will. Prayer is not about convincing God to do things your way or bending His will to match your desires, it's about submitting your heart and desires to His perfect and sovereign plan. This can be a challenging concept, especially when we face difficult circumstances or have deep longings that we are bringing before God. However, true prayer is an act of surrender, an opportunity to trust that God's ways are higher than ours and that His wisdom far surpasses our understanding. As you spend time in prayer, something profound happens, God begins to transform your heart. He softens it, molds it, and helps you to see your situation from His perspective. This transformation is not about changing God's mind, but about changing your own, about opening your eyes to see how God is already at work, at how His plans are good, even when they don't align with your initial desires. Through prayer, God grants you the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that comes not from getting what you want, but from trusting in His perfect will and timing. Aligning your heart with God's will also means being open to His answers, even when they differ from what you expect. Sometimes, God's answer is yes, other times, it's no, or wait. Each of these responses requires faith and trust. When the answer is no, it's often because God has something better in store, something we might not see or understand in the moment. When the answer is wait, it's an invitation to deepen our trust in His timing and to develop patience as we walk by faith, not by sight. So, how can you make prayer a more powerful and integral part of your daily life? It begins with intentionality. Just as you would prioritize time with someone you love, make it a priority to set aside dedicated time each day to be alone with God. This doesn't have to be a long or complicated ritual, even a few quiet moments can have a profound impact on your day and your relationship with God. Start by finding a quiet place where you can focus without distractions. This might be early in the morning before the busyness of the day begins, or it could be in the evening as you wind down. The important thing is to be consistent and intentional about meeting with God regularly. When you come to God in prayer, don't worry about having the perfect words. Prayer is not about eloquence, it's about honesty and authenticity. God knows your heart better than you do, and He values the sincerity of your prayers far more than the words you use. Come before Him with a humble and open spirit, ready to pour out your heart, but also ready to listen. Prayer is a two-way conversation, and often, the most powerful moments in prayer come not from what we say, but from what we hear when we take the time to listen to God's voice. As you make prayer a consistent part of your life, you'll find that it becomes not just a practice, but a lifeline. Prayer will shape your relationship with God, deepen your faith, and help you navigate life's challenges with a sense of peace and purpose. You'll begin to see God's hand at work in ways you never noticed before, when your trust in His goodness and faithfulness will grow. Remember, the power of prayer lies not in the act itself, but in the God to whom you pray. As you align your heart with His will, 
trust in his timing when seek his presence you'll experience the true power of prayer the power that transforms sustains and leads you closer to the heart of god also remember that prayer is not confined to a specific time place or even posture it's not something that has to be reserved for a quiet corner or a specific moment in your schedule although those dedicated times are incredibly valuable Prayer is meant to be a constant, living conversation with God that flows throughout every part of your day. Whether you're at work, at home, or on the go, you have the incredible privilege of carrying on this dialogue with your Heavenly Father, no matter where you are or what you're doing. Think about it, God is always with you, always present, always ready to listen. There's no need to wait until you can find a quiet moment alone to talk to Him. You can bring your thoughts, concerns, and praises to God anytime while you're committing in the middle of a busy day at the office, during a workout, or even while doing household chores. These moments of prayer don't have to be lengthy or elaborate. Sometimes, just a quick, heartfelt word to God is all it takes to reconnect with Him and invite Him into whatever you're facing at that moment. This ongoing conversation with God is about more than just asking for things, it's about inviting Him into every part of your life, both the big and the small. When you bring God into your daily routines, your decisions, and even your mundane tasks, you're acknowledging His presence and His importance in every aspect of your life. You're saying, God, I want you to be part of this. I need your guidance, your peace, and your strength right now. As you cultivate this habit of continuous prayer, you'll start to notice something remarkable. God is not distant or disconnected from your daily life. Instead, He is actively involved, working in and through even the smallest details. By staying in constant communication with Him, you're more attuned to His voice, more aware of His guidance, and more sensitive to His leading. For example, when you're at work and facing a difficult decision, a quick prayer for wisdom can bring clarity and peace. When you're feeling overwhelmed by your responsibilities, a simple prayer for strength can refocus your mind and calm your spirit. Even in moments of joy, a brief prayer of gratitude can deepen your appreciation and remind you of the source of all good things. Prayer doesn't have to be formal or structured, it can be as simple as a thought, a whisper, or a silent clear. The beauty of this continuous conversation with God is that it breaks down any barriers between the sacred and the ordinary. Every moment becomes an opportunity to connect with Him, to lean on Him, and to experience His presence in your life. Moreover, this practice of ongoing prayer helps to keep your heart and mind focused on God throughout the day. In a world filled with distractions and pressures, it's easy to get caught up in the busyness of life and forget to seek God's perspective. But when you make prayer a continuous habit, it acts as a spiritual anchor, grounding you in God's truth and reminding you of His presence, no matter what's happening around you. So, don't limit prayer to specific times or places. Embrace the freedom to pray anywhere, anytime. Whether you're dealing with a significant challenge or simply navigating the everyday moments of life, invite God into each situation. As you do, you'll discover that prayer is not just a spiritual practice, it's a way of living in constant connection with the one who loves you and desires to walk with you every step of the way. Watch how God moves in your life when you consistently open the door to Him through prayer. You'll find that He is faithful to respond, to guide, and to work in ways that go beyond anything you could have imagined. As you make prayer an integral part of your daily life, you'll experience a deeper relationship with God, greater peace in your heart, and a stronger sense of His presence in every aspect of your journey. Finally, pray with faith. This is perhaps the most crucial aspect of prayer because faith is the foundation upon which your prayers rest. Faith is not just wishful thinking or a hopeful desire for a positive outcome, it's a deep, abiding trust in the character and promises of God. When you pray with faith, you're not just reciting words or going through the motions, you're actively placing your confidence in the one who holds all things in his hands. Believe that God hears you. This is the first step in praying with faith. The Bible assures us that God is not distant or indifferent to our prayers. He is a loving Father who listens attentively to the cries of his children. 
When you come to God in prayer, you can be confident that He hears every word, every thought, and every unspoken concern in your heart. Your prayers matter to Him because you matter to Him. But it's not enough just to believe that God hears you, you must also believe that He is able to act. Ephesians 3 verse 20 reminds us of the incredible truth that God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to His power that is at work within us. This means that when you pray, you're not just speaking to a passive observer, you're engaging with the Creator of the universe who has the power to bring about change in ways that exceed your wildest dreams. When you pray with faith, you're trusting in God's ability to do more than you could ever ask or imagine. You're acknowledging that His power is at work within you, shaping your circumstances and transforming your life according to His perfect plan. This kind of faith is not based on what you see or feel in the moment, it's rooted in the unchanging nature of God and His faithfulness throughout history. However, praying with faith also means trusting in God's goodness, His wisdom, and His timing. Sometimes, we may pray for things that seem right to us, but God, in His infinite wisdom, knows that what we are asking for isn't what's best for us at that time. It can be challenging to accept when God's answer is different from what we hoped for or when it seems like He's not answering at all. But true faith trusts that God knows what He's doing even when we don't understand. God's timing is another crucial aspect of praying with faith. We often want immediate answers, but God's timing is perfect and it may not align with our own schedules or expectations. Faith requires patience, the willingness to wait on God and to trust that He is walking behind the scenes even when we can't see it. Praying with faith means surrendering your desires, your plans, and your timing to God, believing that His ways are higher than your ways and His thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9. It's about releasing control and allowing God to lead, knowing that He has your best interests at heart and that His plans for you are good. So, as you approach God in prayer, do so with a heart full of faith. Believe that He hears you, that He is powerful enough to answer your prayers in ways beyond your imagination, and that His wisdom and timing are perfect. Trust that He is for you, that He loves you, and that He is working all things together for your good. Romans 8 verse 28 when you pray with faith, you're not only aligning yourself with God's will, but you're also opening the door for Him to work powerfully in your life. You're declaring your trust in His ability to do the impossible, and you're choosing to rest in His perfect plan for your life. As you continue to pray with faith, you'll find that your relationship with God deepens, your trust in Him grows, and your life is transformed by the power of His love and grace. Today, I encourage you to take a step of faith in your prayer life. Bring your needs, your worries, your hopes, and your dreams before God, knowing that He cares deeply for you and that He is listening. Whether you're praying for a miracle, seeking guidance, or simply longing for peace, trust that God is at work in ways you may not yet see. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of prayer. Thank you that we can come to you with all our concerns, knowing that you hear us and that you care for us. Help us to pray with faith, trusting in your power and your perfect will. Teach us to seek you earnestly and to align our hearts with yours. May we experience the power of prayer in our lives as we draw closer to you each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As you go about your day, remember the power of prayer. God is with you, He is listening, and He is ready to act on your behalf. Keep praying, keep seeking, and trust in the incredible power of God at work in your life. Thank you for joining today's devotion. If this message has encouraged you, please like and subscribe for more. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any prayer requests you may have. See you next time, and God bless you.